Hello folks, so Soundhow makes another dash to the upside finishing up 11.7% on the day. In this video, I'll go over what caused this move, what's next for the stock, and what my game plan is. What am I doing with my shares? Before we begin, most of you are not subscribed yet, so please hit that like and subscribe button to get instant updates when I post sound home videos. And also, I'm not a financial advisor, so take all my content with a grain of salt and seek professional financial advice if you need to. So in my previous videos, I called for Soundhound to undergo a high tight flag or ascending wedge candlestick pattern and whilst it looked a little bit dicey early on this week it has today mounted a somewhat surprising rally to the upside to get back into my desired trading range as you can see circled here now what is driving this rally you may ask i think it's a combination of broader ai sector strength and growing expectations for a big client acquisition. We see leaders in the AI sector space like Palantir and NVIDIA continue to soar with both of these superstars setting new 52 week highs. NVIDIA actually set an all time high today going up an astonishing 4.5%. When will this rally end? Who knows? All I know is that as long as the leaders keep going up, Soundhound should follow as long as management continue to execute its strategy of rolling out its product to new customers. Which brings me to the second reason and that is anticipation of a big customer acquisition. Now, a few days ago, the CFO, Nitesh Sharan, said this at a conference in San Francisco. Have a listen. So today we voice power White Castle, Jersey Mike's, Krispy Kreme. Um, there's a, a lot of the small, we started out with small medium enterprises that are localized. And we've got a few that we're very excited about that we just can't name because they're not letting us to, but I'll just say we're getting more and more of the top 15, top 10 type franchises. Uh, so we're just starting to get go at this and as we talk hopefully in future quarters we'll So apparently Soundhound is about to sign up a top 15 restaurant chain presumably in the US I did a little bit of research and found these names Subway, Starbucks, McDonald's, Dunkin Donuts, Burger King, Taco Bell Pizza Hut, Domino's, Wendy's, Dairy Queen, Little Caesars, KFC, Sonic Drive-In, Arby's, Papa John's, and Chipotle at number 16. I've added Chipotle at 16 because apparently one of Soundhound's recently acquired companies, Sync3, has Chipotle as a customer already. So maybe this mysterious customer could be Chipotle, who knows. It would be good if it's one of these top five companies, but I doubt it because if it were the case, the CFO would have said, we're getting a top five brand, but instead he said top 15. So I'm thinking it's one of these smaller brands, which are still pretty prominent. But whatever the brand turns out to be, it's great to see management continuing to acquire new customers. And hopefully this will create a snowball effect where they start growing customers exponentially. And also a technical reason why Soundhound Rally today could be that selling pressure has subsided. We had a pretty sharp correction from nearly $8 down to below $5 and what this did was to shake out the paper hands from the stock. The paper hands bailed and gave their shares to the hodlers and institutions who are likely accumulating shares in Soundhound. Furthermore, today's rally was on higher volume than the last two days, which is a bullish sign. So what's next? for Soundhound stock. Tomorrow, I expect Soundhound to continue bouncing around in this trading range. I want to see it finish above $6 on high volume, which would indicate that this stock is indeed alive and kicking. What I don't want to see is the price falling below this lower channel and finishing at $5 or lower. This may be a sign of weakness and may portend further downside next week. So what am I doing with my shares? For now, I'm just holding my shares. I haven't bought any more yet because my Soundhound position is about as big as I would like it to be for now. Maybe if it proves itself in the near future by releasing positive news, I might buy some more, but for now, I'm sitting tight. All right, do you still hold Soundhound shares? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for daily updates. See you guys tomorrow.